This is what the snow looks like where my grandma lives. And I would be making a video of some of the heat pumps in the neighborhood running in heat mode, but the power is out. Because um, usually we don't get snow this early and there are still leaves on the trees and that combined with the snow on the branches is making branches and limbs and stuff snap off of trees and those are falling on the power lines. In the winter it's not as big a deal because there's no leaves on the trees. But yeah, there's the Goodman. It has been dormant for a couple of hours now. But let's go for a little walk anyway. I'm hoping the power will come back on before it gets dark. There is the three ton Bryant Evolution System heat pump. That is from 2006. Oh, oh sweet, they got, they replaced the Bryant. And holy shit, that's an XL20i. Holy shit. They replaced the Bryant with an XL20i. Nice. Yeah, there used to be a 2003 Bryant five ton heat pump, just a standard efficiency heat pump with a reciprocating compressor here. And this is from, February of 2011. And yes, I do have permission to film this. Yeah, this is a... Well, that's a three ton. I knew that Bryant was oversized. That's a three ton. Sweet. I now have an XL20i to film. I knew that Bryant was a little undersized or oversized. Yeah, that's a three-ton train. Let's see if I can find the logo. And there's the Bryant Evolution System. Let's see if I can find the little thing that says X. There we go. XL20i Comfort Link 2. Nice. Very nice. Now the key is just to get a video of the thing running. Awesome, man. XL20i. One of the best damn condensing units ever made, in my opinion. It's got the dual compressors. So since that's a three ton, that would mean that has a um, a one and a half ton climate-tough reciprocating compressor for its first stage for more mild weather. And the camera's probably going to die here any minute now. And then it has a um, a three ton climate-tough reciprocating compressor for its high power stage for more extreme temperatures. And this is actually bigger than the Bryant, considerably bigger than the Bryant. XL20i. In my opinion, probably the most badass heat pump on the planet. Can't wait to get a video of that bad boy running. That could not have worked out better. 
a place where I have a house where I have permission from the owner to just walk onto the property whenever I come for a visit and film the heat pump. Got an XL20i. That's awesome. Here is the York Affinity 2S. Again, the power's out, so that's why all these heat pumps are accumulating snow, because they're not running. And all of these houses, in addition to the heat pumps, instead of um, electric backup heat or a gas forced air furnace, all these houses have propane boilers tied into the air handlers, so it's like... All the, um, it has all the modern convenience of forced air heat, but the, um, but all the, um, the good things about hot water heat as well, because it's hot water, it's, in my opinion, hot water heat is better than forced air heat. But I don't like the way the baseboards, um, look. I think they're ugly as hell, but I think that hot water heat is better because it doesn't draw out, dry out the air. And then we got one more unit here that I have permission to film. Um, another York. I really wish the power were on because I really want to get a video of that XL20i. I can't believe that they got an XL20i. And then I got the XL19i that belongs to my HVAC instructor that he's going to film for me. So, sweet shit. All right. Yeah, I believe that's a York Stealth hot heat pump. And that is a three ton Goodman heat pump from 2007. Don't know how many nominal tons the York is. Let's take a look. All right. This is a four nominal ton, 48,000 BTU. Can't get a model name off of it, but this is a York four-ton heat pump from about 2005, I think. Shit, there goes the battery. The climber's got this. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.